Lake Stamper here in sunny Michigan. How's everybody doing today? Uh, as you know, I'm a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And if you see any of the items, the links will be listed below. And if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. Hit it twice even, all right? <laughs> all kinds of notifications. Uh, anyway, I've been kind of AWOL. I didn't do any uh, YouTube last week, but I've been out looking for houses. Yeah, I uh, sold my house within 24 hours. Uh, last Saturday. So I've been out and about uh, trying to get uh, something uh, and look, gosh, it's as soon as you look, it's sold. So, um, you know, you got to get out there kind of early. So um, I thought I'd take a little break and let's do some whale of a good time. So the whale of a good time is amazing. Um, here's the sampler as uh, that I've done. These are all the colors that are that are uh, included in the Whale of a Good Time. So there's plenty to choose from, all right? Just plenty. And the cards are, oh my God, they're so cute. So, so cute. I wanted to do this little guy. It's a trifold with my little whales. Isn't he cute? You're kind of a big deal. <laughs> this is for my real estate agent. <laughs> once, I find, once my offer gets accepted, <laughs> Bam! And then well done. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so I sold my house. I have an offer on another one. We'll see. Cross your fingers, okay? So I'm gonna move this. We're going to do this wonderful trifold. It's so, so simple. So the first thing you want to do is you want some, I'm gonna use Bumblebee, and we're gonna do it at uh, five and I'm sorry, five and a half times 11. That's it right there, okay? Now, this is the fun part. Really easy. Take your take your trimmer. Get your score only. Don't use your, you know, don't don't cut it cuz you have to start all over again. You're going to um, score at 3 and an eighth, okay? So, 3 and an eighth right on this side. Bam. Okay? Give it a little shot there. 3 and an eighth, and then turn it around and three and one eighth on this side. There we go. All right. So this one place I like has a huge potential craft room. I know, I could get California closets out there and have a, I could have a field day. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my God. So, so little prayer for Karen. <laughs> So anyway, okay, so you see that my scores right here, see, nice. We're just going to do a little bone fold on it. All right, nice. And then one more time on this side. And you've got a really cute, cute card. Now you've got a trifold, isn't that simple? Now I've already cut the paper and you already saw how, how many beautiful sheets you could pick from, right? So I'm going to pick the little crabs, thought they were cute, and of course I'm going to pick this for the top of my um, pretty card because um, when you look at these really pretty cards, look at this, so see, you can just take that one bottom, you've got like two fun cards on here to do a trifold. So this will be my top right here, and I'm going to, these were cut at three times five and a quarter all right I'll have the dimensions for you really simple all right nothing nothing too nothing too hard again three times five and a quarter if you're following along and get your favorite glue let's just glue this baby right down shall we and I like the little crabs on the bottom don't you I do I think they're darling on the bottom and then the, all the grasses and, you know, it looks like they're, they're just going all over the place, doesn't it? Isn't that cute? It's a nice hot day today, so it's a great time to just kind of maybe come inside, get some lemonade or a little cocktail or whatever you like to do on a Saturday and make some cards. Oh my gosh, look at that. So simple. So simple. Okay, now let's put this together. How about that? Look at this. Okay, so this is what I've got already ready for our little 
our little guys. Um, I have the Stitch So Sweetly, and I use this size right here, all right? And we're just going to put that right about here, all right? But let's put this to the side just for a second, and let's play around with this little guy right here, all right? Now, I like to put a little bit of a, a, a fun little finish right in the middle here. So I have this already cut at two and, a, two and an eighth times three and a quarter. I know they're odd numbers, right? Just so it fits really nice, so you see the nice scallop edges of the stitch so sweetly. Okay. Perfect. Look how cute that is. That's darling. This is what we're gonna use from the Essential Tag Punch in the Christmas catalog. I thought it was just the perfect thing to use. Um, we're going to cut some fun paper right here. And it's gonna be Bumblebee. I'm just gonna do a nice little punch. And that's it. I know, right? We're, and you're gonna be surprised, but um, you, you're kind of a big deal, fits perfectly on this, perfectly. Can you believe that? I know, right? So, um, let's get some memento. And hopefully I don't get it all over me like I usually do. All right. Let's give it a little... I love this, I love this saying, you're kind of a big deal, you know? Perfect, OMG, love, okay. All right, so now remember, we're just gonna kinda do it the same way we did this one. Now, I want this kind of on an angle. Um, it can go either way, you can have the coral looking at you if you want. Um, I think that looks kinda cute, and we can just pop this little baby right up. All right, I got the dimensionals on. We're gonna probably have to just do that little area right there. Um, I think we could go, let's see. Well, we could go this way if we want, yeah, why not? All right, now, let's get our card. All right, kind of get an idea. Now, just an FYI, you don't want to put any dimensionals here because if you do, you can't open the card up. And that would be bad. <laughs> so, so definitely just kind of like, okay, all right, I see what you're saying. I see where you're coming from. So um, just kind of put this like three quarters down and you want to put dimensionals right on the top here, okay? Uh, right on the top of this lip of this area right here. Okay, I have my dimensionals on, all right? This one I'm gonna do just a little bit different. I'm just gonna go to the very edge of the card base area. You can put this wherever you like. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, perfect, so I can still open the card up. That's important, super. Now I've got my little guys. See my whales now? If you get this little whale punch, which is darling, you can just come over here in the cardstock and just punch out a whale. And especially if you're in a hurry and you know you've got time is of the essence and you, you need to make a fast card, <laughs> this will work. So let's do let's do one here. All right. Perfect. I've already got them on dimensional, so see and see what I did over here. I've got my little guy kind of, you know, this kind of, this guy kind of anchors, which is kind of nice. So it's nice if you want to get a, a whale to kind of anchor your area, which is a not, not a bad idea. I'm probably going to do that with this one. And, yep, perfect. Oh, look at that. How cute is that? Okay, Starling. now that you have the base of your card, what you want to do is you want to pick out any of these colors, all right? You're going to get a nice little whisper white at five and a quarter times four. You're going to pick out some of your favorite colors because you're going to use this stamp set now. All right. And you're going to use your favorite little guys that are in the stamp set. Um, I use Pacific Point. I use Shaded Spruce. Uh, and I use Granny Apple. All right. Um, those I used for my little fish and all the little plants, and then my, uh, oh, I use Blackberry Bliss as well. 
That's right, I use them for my little sea urchins. <laughs> so now, um, this little guy, what you want to do is you want to just, now that you've got this all done, you've already stamped it, you're so fast. <laughs> I know, right? You're so fast. Okay, there you, there you, make sure you don't, see, I almost glued it all the way down. All right, so I'm just going to put this in and get this little guy in. All right, let's see. Center him. He looks perfect. All right. Now, it doesn't matter if it's all the way not done. You know, up here, you don't need it up, up there at all. Now, um, what I did do is, after I'm all done with this lovely stuff, I got my little stitch so sweetly again. And I, I actually cut some designer paper out, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to place this a little bit higher up here. That's why I didn't care if I did any um, fish up here. I'm just gonna put him right here, kind of in the center of where all the sea urchins, everybody's just all over the place. <laughs> and then I have the word whale done, and I have a whale. Oh, that's the whale there, I had another whale. But that whale must have disappeared on me. I don't know, okay, well let's use this whale then. Um, we're going to put maybe a whale here. I think we could do that, but let's just think about it for a minute. And then this little guy, we could put, see how cute that looks? Uh, we could put this little guy like on an angle if you want to. All right, what do you think? That looks kind of cute. So I'm gonna do that. And then I did cut out some turtles. Aren't these guys cute? The little, the, the little turtles, I love them. They're so darling. And they have little baby turtles too down here. But I didn't want to cut those little guys out because um, I'd be here forever. But here's the, the bigger piece of paper with all the little cute little turtles on here. Um, so I, you know, I just cut out a little bit. I thought it'd be kind of fun. You can put them anywhere, you can keep them. I, I am gonna put one of my little turtles, this is the one that has a little smile on his face. I'm gonna put him right on here. Okay, so remind me to do that. So anyway, let's get this little guy right on. And then last but not least will be embellishments. And that won't take but a second to do. See, it's not a it's not a hard card at all to do. It's very easy. Um, so I'm going to do like on an angle. All right, just a little bit of an angle, not not too much. And then I'm going to I am going to put this little guy right there. Oh my God, he's so cute. He could go like anywhere, you know. Or he doesn't have to go on at all. It's just up to you. So I'm just going to play with him a little bit and see where if I like him on here or not. You know, he's kind of a, he's kind of darling. But let's go back and do some em embellishments because that really makes the card. And I, I I love doing that. That's my that's my most favorite. So this is from the Artistry Blooms. Don't you love this? And I, if you don't have these, you should get them because they. They really look fantastic with this paper. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and you can use all of the colors, okay? Here's some other colors as well. So I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna put some of the bigger ones, like as if it was on, it was growing from the plant, you know? That's a great idea. So let's move this guy here, yeah. And then we'll put a smaller one right here. How's that look? You can put it for the whale's eyes as well. Um, and you can mix up the colors as well. Don't forget, mix these, this coral color with this blue. I mean, you can't go wrong. It, just, it looks amazing. Next to the little crabs. <laughs> I know, it's darling. Let's do whale done in here. I am going to, again, use some of the blue that we have from the Artistry Blooms. And I'm, the bigger the bigger pieces I'm using right on that, that leaf, okay? And then um, let's do, let's do some, 
of this coral color. This would really knock it out. Yeah. And then use some of the tiny ones too, you know. Um, and don't feel you can only, you don't only have to use a few of them. I mean, you can use as many or as less as you want, okay. Um, I'm just, I, I like a lot of embellishments, so that's me. There we go. And let's do another one instead. There we go, that's better. And let's do one more, because it's on me. Let's. Okay, oh my gosh, I love it. Look how cute. That's darling. I just love my cards. <laughs> See how cute that is? That's darling. So I think these are fun to make. It's a fun card. The trifolds, you cannot go wrong. You can make it just a, a three quarter, you know, just don't put any, any dimensionals. And if you mess up, like I almost did, then just uh, just put it right at the edge, okay? And maybe have your little um, your little whale. And then bam, look at that, look how cute that is. So I hope you enjoyed this, it was a lot of fun. All right, you have a great week, have a great weekend, all right? I'll talk to you soon, bye.